Welcome back to Let's Play 3D.Game Heroes. Our first off supplemental videos because these two mini games together will probably take about as long as that last episode took just to get from temple to temple. The first thing I mentioned, the um, this old lady at the um, the inn just outside of the Forest of No Return. After completing the Forest Temple, you can go back to her and so that um, it'll ask you if you want to play block defense. You are best. I'll try. There are five of these throughout the entire game. This is the early, the road to Dotnia, the earliest and by default easiest one to show off and explain how all of these work. Uh, special thanks goes out to a, the only game FAQs on this game that exists, thanks to a uh, Egghead Fool, uh, spelled e with one G, E G Head Fool, aka Hapkido. Ooh, I got that up and knowing what I need to do for um, a lot of these. I'm trying to explain this as best I can. The game will help me out too. But yeah, a tower defense game. We gotta place towers to halt the enemy advance. Enemies appear and will march towards the exit on the bottom right there. Got 20 life. If an enemy reaches the exit, I lose one. Or at zero, the game ends. They show up in waves. Single wave contains multiple enemies. One stage consists of several waves. New one begins after each one ends. You can get a clear bonus if you have any remaining money, and that'll add up later on. Your job is to place block towers, pick up money from down foes to add more towers. Money can also be used to raise the level of existing towers. You can also attack the enemies yourself. If an enemy tags you, you drop money. But staying still gives you experience, and with enough you'll level up. The max level is 10. Of course, you'll do more damage. The higher level you are, some foes near the end of certain waves will drop crystals, and we use these to purchase the, uh, as you can see, maybe that green guy up top there in the top wall there, you can buy some things from him, stronger towers, but that's not the only thing you can purchase. There's our controls, square to build up this, and hold R to walk, I won't be doing much walking for this. I can only use my normal sword and block defense. Starting off, we're gonna build, um... There's three different kinds of towers, but we're really only going to need to focus on one for this, the arrows, because they hit both um, land and air-based enemies. They're not as... they're a little stronger than the... No, I don't want to do that. Ah, damn it. Fucking up already. Yeah, just build two level one arrow towers and just stand still while you level up and let them do the work. Kind of stay up top to try and get some of these coins. Switch level 2 really easy. Get more a little later on. As you can see our power went up. Down goes the wave. And a couple because we got stuff level where we can get a little bit of bonus gold. Okay. Second wave, we upgrade one of these towers to level 2. Gotta be quick on these. I don't know how well I'll do. Stand still, no matter what. Yeah, do this because these things can get really tedious, and there's five of these, and they only get harder from here with more enemies and more n sufficient means to take them down. I'm just doing this one to show off how it it all works and what you're gonna be expecting. But yeah, like I said, go to there's videos of all the other ones on what you need to do, and some of these get like really complex. You're gonna be staring at like. I think there was one of the later ones, there was like 30 towers you're going to build up. Anyway, third wave, level up the other tower, the other arrow tower to level 2. As the third wave comes in, zombies. A little faster and a little tougher too. You should reach level 4 by this time as well. Tomorrow's they are now. You can see they're getting a little farther away. I'm leveling up. If they get too far away, I'm going to have to use my sword to swing at them. It hasn't happened yet, though. They're doing pretty good. As you can see, it's... this one is going to take me a long time. So sorry if I'm not saying anything trying to be too tedious. 
Now we want to upgrade both towers to level three. This one and this one. And as you can see, I build them up top here just to get them quickly. I don't have enough. For the second one, I'm gonna have to wait that one out. Alright, I got level five. Let me go get some money. Attack these guys if necessary. Gonna build that tower up. There, now both of them are at level three. I wonder if that'll be enough, and then I can just stand still some more. Oh, they're starting to get numerous. A little bit of standing still, try to build up the, to the next level. Certain ways they end up with uh, this fellow, the Black Knight. They usually drop the crystals we're looking for. Right, let's go to this guy and we can trade crystals for stronger towers. We're going to use it to none of these towers. At least not yet. We're going to buy a bonus up. Do not buy any of these life ups. It ruins your shot at a perfect score. And, right, and of course, that's what you want to shoot for for all of these. Need to trade? Yes. Need to trade? No. Bonus up will give us more um, coins later on. Over here, let's build another arrow. Real quick. God damn it, I got hit. <laughs> Starting to get fast. Let that other arrow come in and take it out. That's wave five. I'll level up and let the towers do their thing. Let's build this one up a little bit, shall we? to a level three. I'll level up and let the towers do their thing. Get these golem enemies are gonna be pretty slow. That says it's gonna be this. I can cut out and go to the next wave wave seven. Okay wave six is done. I managed to get another level. I'm level six now. A little more clear bonus now it's times ten. Gonna be doing the same thing for wave seven because I, I think I advanced ahead and wasn't able supposed to build that one arrow block up yet. It's supposed to be built up to level 2, but I already put it up to level 3, just in case. So once again, the arrows are going to do their thing while I stand still and level up some more. So, skipping ahead to wave 8. Wave 7, done. Here comes wave 8. Air enemies, these bees. As you can see, though, once again, the... Let me get closer. So I can get the coins that drop, so I don't have to move up to grab them. That's what I should be doing. By now I should reach level 7 at this point. Another knight's gonna come down, so we gotta... Here he comes. Oh, he's delayed. Alright, level 8, uh, wave 8 is done. Buy another crystal. We'll buy it, use the crystal to buy another bonus up. Get that money, money. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, I'm paused every time I talk to him. All right, gonna hang out up here again. As you can see, I can build them up to level four if I want to. Ooh, I may have to assist. These are crystal slimes. You can see they're fast little buggers. You and I had to step in for that one. All right. Alright, you should be at level 7 by the wave 10. Let the arrows do their thing. You can see I'm almost all the way there. But by now you should have those um, three level 3 towers. I already did that in advance, so I'm just gonna stay still and level up. Shouldn't be too much trouble, so I can skip ahead to wave 11. Wave 10 clear. Wave 11, I might need to step in with my sword a little bit. Shouldn't be too much trouble though. Especially with how maxed out you are now. Looking here is doing a thing, try my best to get to level 8. As they come around the other bend, I'm gonna start swinging at them. Here they come. Dead. You don't take any damage getting hit, but you do lose coins. I'm gonna send that earlier. Way to level eight. A little bit more. That might be 
a little too close to that enemy. Okay, wave 11 is done. We're gonna drop another, uh, level 3 arrow tear at this point. So you should have four level 3 towers now. Assist with your sword is needed. So they're starting to get a little higher up in each blue and they're getting a little faster now. I need to level 8. But again, I have to step in. Shouldn't be too much trouble, as you can see. Start to work on the... Ow! The night! Oh boy, this is bad. Thankfully, you can swing your sword like this and get maybe like two hits off of him like that. Like you can see, oh, I'm whittling him down. I wasn't stabbing. I was moving it back and forth. So you can get like more than one hit on him. But look at that bonus. Bam! We're saving up our money. That's good. And we're going to do it again. We're going to make it even bigger. Bonus up. No. Oh. Again. Drop another level three. Arrow. Be able to stand still for this one. Yeah, this is looking pretty good, so I'll be able to cut out. I should have, hopefully, by then, level 8 by the time this wave is done. Boom. Wave 14, you're gonna do the same thing because it's gonna more these slow ass golem enemies. So, yeah, I'm gonna get level 8 by the end of this, and I'll be ready to I'll skip this and go to wave 15. There's level 8. Wave 14 is done. Wave 15, I might have to step in with my sword a little bit, but you should be okay. Uh-oh. Or maybe not. Alright, let's step in. Still pretty solid, though. And like I said, you want to waggle. Yeah. So, I'm sorry if you're hearing a lot of... Me being a little too close there. A little more there. Wave 15 is done. Alright. Let's bring all these towers up to level 4 now, shall we? Got room to build another one, do so. And bring that to level 4 as well. Yeah, go all in now. Oh, here they come. Ready. Build it once again along the wall like this. Yeah, I have plenty. I'm just gonna stand here. Claim the reward. Hopefully get to level 9 by the end of this. Shouldn't be too much trouble. There's gonna be another knight by the end of this wave. So which gives us another crystal. Okay, here he comes. Wave 16 is done. This time we're gonna buy one of them slow towers with this one. Okay. Alright, build another quick level 4 arrow tower. Might have to step in just because they're numerous and fast. But you can see they're getting wrecked. Okay, let me get the money, 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 money. Next wave, we're going to build our first slow tower. Okay. Try and build that up if you can. I'm going to build it up to level 2 and it just says to drop one for now. Just make sure it's at the top of the screen. If you ain't level 9 by now, you should be there now. But the slow tower does damage and it also slows enemies down as well, so it does affect both land and air as you can see. Very useful. Yeah, this is looking pretty easy. Yep, that's done. Alright. 
We've 19, you're gonna be gathering some more money and doing your thing. I'm already at level 9, so there's only more standing around to push for for level 10. Get those ghostly enemies out there pretty slow. So they're gonna get wrecked very easily. So I can skip and head to. Alright, wave 20! Let's build the slow tower up to level 4. If you can, drop a, another one and make that level 4 as well. There we go. I should be fine with that up until the Black Knight shows up. You beat him down. You buy another bonus up with the crystal he drops. So I will cut out and see what wave 21. Actually, no, you can pretty much stand still for wave 21 as well this setup. So. Actually, 22 as well. You can... Is, yeah, so. I'm be cutting out a little bit more, I guess. But yeah, the main thing... Oh, here comes the knight. Let's see how they work on him a little bit. He's gonna say, super slow. He's like... Eh, eh. Just let them work their magic, whittle him down while my level goes up. Alright. But yeah, level 20, 21, and 22, you can stand still. And by then you should have uh, at l max level 10. And then you can just swing your sword whenever you, you damn well please. You don't have to level up anymore so you can assist and make this even easier. At your max power. So, so I'm going to be hanging out for 21. You can see these slow string enemies. They stand no chance whatsoever. No chance! That's what you got. So again, wave 21 and wave 22, you're just going to be standing still. Get, the, get as close as you can to level 10. And I'll see you at uh, wave 23. Uh, oh, at the end of wave 22, there's going to be another uh, knight which you can kill with the, the stuff that you have now and buy another bonus up as well. Boom, bam, max level. I no longer have to stand still, I can just fuck shit up. I'm not even at 23 yet, I was like halfway through 22 when that happened. Oop, got too close to you. Sorry about that. Get stabbed, get stabbed, get stabbed. It's a little sturdier. It's a lot sturdier. But he's been dealt with. Alright. Gonna buy another quick bonus up. Alright. And get myself another slow tower over here, level 4. Oop, not there. Gonna build up uh, two more level 4 arrows, because they're on the cheap right now, especially with our money. enough range at first one I built to really wipe these enemies out. Because I'm level 10, I no longer have to stand still and can step in and use my sword to do my part. Maybe there's a lot of strategy going in this. Like, when, the, when do you stand still, what towers to buy, and all that stuff. These get crazy in a hurry, and I know Wave 24 is gonna come in with more, what you call it. And Wave 25, as you can see, is the last one, so... Since I'm coming up on the end, I'm just gonna go ham and start building up more, uh, more towers. Let's get another slow in there. Oh, 
They're fast slimes, but they ain't even making it past a certain point now. Look at that. Alright, last one, wave 25. They're slow, but holy fuck, they're HP. Let's get another, uh... Since I can afford another one. Pull up another... Max that out. Build an arrow one right by him. Right in front of the dude. Since this is the last wave, I can just go ham. And there should be a... Uh, after this wave of golems, you know, slowly makes their way over here and gets done, there's gonna be a... Multiple... Black Knights, each of them gets cut down to create a crystal, but because this is the last wave, and I could be needing them, but so just focus on killing them as quickly as possible. Oh, here come the Knights. Just snuck by that one last golem. Gotta cut him, gotta cut him. I don't care about the money. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah! Halted all the enemies and did it without taking getting a single one of them over to that side. And for clearing the game, we get money. It's the first one, so you get a hundred, and then I'll increase buy a hundred each for every one you clear. And in the future, I'll hit the mic. Sorry. Uh, in the future, I'll mention which ones are which ones you got to talk to. They're usually right after uh, you complete a temple. You go back to uh, an inn you might have. Sculpt over previously, and the black defense will be there. For doing that perfectly, we get a small block. If we complete all five levels, we get a life shard. And if we clear all five levels without taking any damage, we get something that fucks up them blue dragons in one hit called the Worm Sword. Okay, time for the second minigame I glossed over the uh, block out. Back in the potion shop of Ortega Village where we bought those warp wings. This should be pretty much um, you, what's block out meaning well. So, well, you'll see. Pretty much it's advertised. Deflect the ball to destroy blocks. Once you destroy them all, you clear the stage and proceed. Use guard to shoot the ball at the beginning, or R1. You can reflect it with your sword or your shield. The uh, sword is more risky, it's like out of place. Well, you'll hopefully see what I mean as I go through these. It's the player or the bottom wall you lose. Move left and right to ready your position. Can't move forward. You have three lives. Do your best to destroy all the blocks. Just like to quit at any time. Five stages in all. The first one starts off with a simple one that can be destroyed easily. You move slow now, kind of. But if you need to move quickly. I already fucked it up already by explaining. I'm just going to start over. Okay. Whoop. Use the sword if you need to. Let's get to that chest, shall we? Ooh, a red one. Red one is multi-ball. There's a green apple as well that turns one of them into a red ball, which goes through blocks no matter how many times you gotta hit them. This is useful for later on. Yeah, I always wanna go for the power-ups. Stage two. These yellow ones, they're gonna take two hits normally. So that's very... You need to try and get the power-ups later on. That was risky because sometimes it, you know, I stick it out straight ahead, but it doesn't really cover that much ground. But yeah, if you need to move quickly from one area to another, like the boyvin says, drop your shield. That was a free from software game where you got that too, did see. Ah, see, it works. It's important. All right, there's the red. You get to see how that works. So it slowly passes its way through. Shove it straight up. Try and clear most of these out. But you can see it just clears out a block of any color no matter what. And it doesn't run out or anything, so I can keep this going. This is gonna get tedious though. I'm gonna have to cut out again here. Come on. I confess I'm not the best at this. But there's a reason I started over. I'm gonna so I'm gonna try and go for. I won't start over again from here though if I 
Fuck up. God damn it. Sucks I can't throw it to the left. Damn it. Oh, this is annoying. I'm gonna skip ahead to stage three. This is gonna take for fucking ever. Alright, stage three. Maybe a little more troublesome because you got this. Well, the blue ones make three hits, as you can see. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get it. I'm trying to get the sides so I can get that easy. That's what I should be going for. Should shoot for the sides. The shides. Shoot for the shides. Ride the shoe puff. Oh shit. Oh shit. Usually not this bad at the game, but then again, once again, you know, curse of the LP, and you gotta talk in... What's that old saying? Can't talk and chew bubblegum at the same time? <laughs> Fuck! Again, I'm usually not this bad. Mostly, yeah, you are gonna want to pay attention to this so you can not fuck up like I am. I'm playing really shitty right now. I don't want to lose here and have to start all this over again. Because there's still two more stages, and I'm down to my last, uh, my last life. Can't lose here. Okay, I got the sucker open. That was risky. The red. Oh, I need to use the sword to bat some of these away. Some of them hit right directly at me when they die. Okay. <laughs> You can see some of that gets crazy, but yeah, always go for the power-ups. Alright, we got these red ones that took five hits to destroy. I'm gonna try and get off to the side, try and get it up the middle here. Access some of these power-ups early on. Multi-ball, nice. Got another one. More spawn. Got another one. Hoping for a groom, but I'll take what I can get and hope it's enough to. So I some of these way. Yes, okay. All right, one life, and I'm on stage five. Those light blue ones up top are gonna take six hits. The dark gray just above that, right here in the front, is gonna take eight. And power ups are all in the eye, so we got a, a bit of work ahead of us to break through this one. But this is the last stage. Hopefully, I can. Ooh, ooh, that's risky to do it that close like that. That's usually where I fuck up even when I'm not talking. I was just like, God damn. Ooh. Ooh. You see that hit twice and then bounced up and down again. Alright, I'm starting to wear him down now. Let's get the power-ups and finish this quickly. Come on. Just able to attack the sides. I'm gonna break them all eventually, so what the hell. Oh! Trying to get it up from the top. Oh, there it goes. Trying to get the... Trying to get the creamy center eyes, them gumball eyes, kind of like an ice cream. Because that's what the power-ups are. Oh, I'm almost broke through that side. Don't use the sword when it's that close. You'll just end up hitting yourself and losing a life that way. Sword's mostly for emergencies. This is getting wild now. lose the ball at the same time because it's my last life. Let me take it. Fuck! Why did I go for the sword at that close? Should have tried the shield instead. 
Uh, but yeah, you can see I even managed to get to the powerhouse, but yeah. If you clear all five stages without losing any of the... Um, well, if you clear all five stages normally, you get a life shard. If you clear all five without losing a life, you get the... Very handy dandy, makes grinding for money a complete non-issue. Another new sword called the Luck Mallet. You kill an enemy, uh, not as strong as the rest of the swords, but you beat on an enemy with this enough and they'll always drop some money for you, so. Very useful to get a hold on. Very worth trying. The ag aggravation for trying to do this without losing a single ball. And if every time you're like, fuck, I get start out here. And it's always this stage, too, where I at least lose one more often than not. <laughs> like this one, it just, like you saw, it takes a while to just crack through. I only managed to get like halfway and I just now got to the power up and made the mistake of using the sword up that close. I thought it was a little farther away from the shield. Sometimes it, it happens. But yeah, next episode I will be showing off getting back to the task at hand and going to the desert temple next time on the Let's Play. Well, Hopefully, now with these out of the way, you can uh, get a better understanding in 3C.GameHeroes. Mm -hmm.